It was Laura Marlow, who, who, who the, the Irish Times correspondent in Paris, who, who, who was saying that um, she felt that I worked like a journalist, that the systems I use and the, the method of research and, and the thinking behind the, the, the looking for an image to tell a story is very similar to what, what journalists do. And um, for that reason, the idea of, of being involved in a charity which is run in honour of a journalist who, who did more than anyone to lift the lid on this country, uh, on, on, on the dark that we lived in, that we were born into, she, she blew it open. So I was very honoured to be offered the opportunity to, to, to make a work for the Mary Raftery Foundation. It's the Iraqi war being fought again, the Afghanistan war when a democratic government was overthrown because the Russians were supporting it. Um, you know, you go back to Vietnam, you have the story of my generation's life, you know, the, the, through these wars. And I was determined that I would go and have a look at it. The how I got there was very simple. Uh, Hidden Voices is a group that I work with. It's, it's a, a Republican group uh, which works in, in conflict resolution, both in Northern Ireland and uh, I mean across the globe. They had connections to um, the, the Sunni religious groups and the Christian Maronite groups in Damascus. And through, those, through the influence of those people, visas were, were, were attained and we went. We were absolutely free to go anywhere we wanted, to talk to anybody we wanted. There was no surveillance or no pres governmental presence when we were conducting interviews with, 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 with various people, soldiers, university students, uh, doctors, um, casual people we would meet in bars and so forth. We drove to Homs and then further on to Aleppo. We walked up around the citadel and the eastern part. And uh, this, is, this is one of the buildings that, uh, which, which, which the print I made is based on. I remember seeing a, a film, I think it was by Polanski. It was to do with piano or something in the title. And it opened with a scene of Warsaw. One street in snow, absolutely destroyed. That was the only kind of, uh, other than black and white photographs from the Second World War, was the only kind of uh, measure of understanding that I had before I stood in this landscape. The aerial bombardment and artillery has reduced this city to, 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 to nothing. For me, painting, it's extremely simple. You, you put a bottle in front of us and we draw the bottle. It's as simple as that. A painter is somebody who, who makes an image of the world. Uh, so the question is, what interests you? Whether it's a bottle or a person or, or whatever. I started working uh, in the mid 80s in prisons and, subs and then mental institutions. In a sense, these, I felt that these paintings were the, the kind of the opposite to the institution. So making a painting, a portrait, was a very conservative act, but because of its context, had a, a certain amount of radicalism attached to it. I then started looking uh, uh, outside in the world for images which explained what was happening to my satisfaction. I mean, it's a, a painter is a very individual work. It's not a collective work. I have my own politics, but the actual work I make is very clear. It's just what is. And these paintings show, I hope, what is. Uh, I, to make a print and for the print to be sold in support of the memory of her work and to fund new work of her kind 
um, it's, it's just it's just I'm delighted to do that. <laughs> <laughs>